cardiology update uh, viewers listeners and readers my name is Shadr Reyes a cardiologist at Detroit Medical Center in the Detroit Michigan United States I'm coming to you again with another interesting article related to the lifelong stroke risk and patient post TAVR as we know the application and also the uh, utilization of TAVR has been expanded for low and intermediate risk patients which has increased the life expectancy for this patient and uh, we would like to know what is the risk of stroke in this patient this is a very interesting Interesting uh, registry generated data coming from Swiss Tavi, published at Jack Intervention Journal. In this article, the authors looked into all TAVR uh, implanted in Switzerland between the year of 2011 to 2021, 10 years worth of data. A total number of uh, more than 11,000 patients involved in this registry, 48% uh, were women, as well as the age was 81% uh, on average. 30% of these patients or one-third of these patients had history of atrial fibrillation and 11% of them had already history of cerebrovascular disease prior to TAVR. It's a very interesting result to see that the 33% of these patients developed stroke, 70% in the first uh, 48 hours, as well as this risk increased from 3% at uh, 30 days to 4% at one year and goes up to 5% at five years. When they did uh, sex as well sex as well as age match uh, matching for other population who never had TAVR, definitely there was, a, there was an increased risk of stroke in this population. Uh, this data was adjudicated for history of AFib as well as match for any history of cerebrovascular disease. We know that since 2011 till now, where there was a different iteration of valves uh, evol evolved as well as the risk of this procedure as well as more younger patients are involved and more patients with no history of AFib and cerebrovascular disease are involved in having this procedure. I think going forward, this risk is going to go down significantly because we're implanting these valves in a healthier patients with no history of stroke before and no history of atrial fibrillation. This patient also has not a very standard dice therapy. Majority of them receive dual antiplatelet therapy post-implantation, but some of them already was also on anticoagulation for history of atrial fibrillation. This is very in insightful kind of uh, data uh, to tell us about the risk of stroke after implantation, especially when we discuss this risk with patients. So again, I just want to remind everybody that the risk at 30 days was 3%, and the risk at one year was up to uh, 5%. These are kind of, again, in the uh, significant percentages, but I would like to also uh, show that there is a limitation in this data because this is kind of a different generation of valves as well as very older population with a mean age of 81. Hope you enjoyed listening and, sh and seeing us on uh, uh, Cardiology Update. Watch these videos and others on YouTube, other social media outlet, and also watch for the article coming on Cardiology Update website. Thank you for listening. This is Shad Reyes.